world worth a quarter of a million bucks starts running around, it's liable to attract strange traveling companions. In some countries, when the police have an unsolved crime, they blame it on a foreigner. There was a French jewel thief named Arsene Lupin. There was. He operated on an international scale. When he was alive, yes. He was killed by a detective. Oh. I'd like to see some pictures of the body. There are no pictures. Why not? Lupin was shot after he jumped from a bridge into the Seine. Me, Steve Emerson, I believe they're dead after I see the body, not before. Excuse me a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, you see what I'm up against in this picture. I play the role of an American detective in Paris. My job is to see that a $250,000 emerald necklace and one Arsene Lupin, a notorious jewel thief, do not become too friendly. The French police assure me that Arsene Lupin is dead. With all due respect to them and to you, Monsieur le Prefect, I know that Arsene Lupin is very much alive, very dangerous and apt to strike at any moment. sensible and tell everything. The police are bound to catch Lupin eventually. When they do, it'll be all the worse for you. They've got nothing on me. And as for Lupin, I've never met him. But from what I've heard about him, he's too smart for the police. Might I ask what Rene is to you? An old friend of the family. Put my name down, will you? For the first vacancy among your old friends? Well, I'll consider it. <laughs> Sorry. What is that American expression, break in? Cut in. Oh, a charming custom. Oh, we ought to keep American customs at home. <laughs> Ever hear of anyone named Arsene Lupin? Oh, sure. Stayed some of the biggest robberies in Europe. Big operator. Tops. Mm -hmm. 